Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Since last time, I went back upstairs and uh, killed those two uh, red iron knuckles that I said I would, and I actually got a little lucky. Got a power bag from one of them, so that helped out. Some people were telling me about uh, fighting the iron knuckles by just straight up jumping and attacking them like that, as opposed to ducking and jumping like I've been doing before. And, uh, well, I just demonstrated it right there, so apparently, uh, yeah, I, I did not know that. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a perfectly legitimate tactic to use against them, so yeah, I, I have no problem with that. Besides, there's plenty of instances where you can't use that, where there's, like, really tight quarters or something where you can't, uh, get through that easily. So let's just, uh, back out of there. And wait for most of these guys to pass us up, if I can. Get out of there. Okay. I made that look a little easier than that. No, maybe, maybe not. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is that straight below where I'm standing now, at least somewhere around there, is a red potion in the black there. But it might also be a red iron knuckle. So, and if you get trapped down there with a red iron knuckle, he will kill you. So, yeah, I think it's you're better off passing it up. But uh, you can take it if you want. Oh, by the way, speaking of red potions, I took the one from the statue head uh, next to the first elevator where I started the episode today. So, first things first. Nuts. I don't want to use a shield spell on this guy because, uh, well, I'm rather limited on magic here. So, I want to save enough MP for a shield spell and a life spell, which I have right now. Uh, also, you notice you got two iron knuckles there, you got a third one on the bottom there with a the power bag. And I'm gonna kill them all. One thing about blue iron knuckles that I did not know until uh, you guys pointed it out to me yesterday. Apparently, he only goes into pissy boss mode immediately after you hit him, and even then, only for a relatively short period of time. So you just hit him, back up, and then let him try to get through your shield ineffectively. So just back up there. So far I'm doing pretty good. See, I want to wait for him to attack me, and then try to get in a hit there. Not too bad. That way I have a little bit of a window to uh, back up, although sometimes it doesn't always work. Life spell. Well, I hope I have enough to uh, get through this boss fight. Not quite a flawless victory, but... Alright, got him. Hmm. Whatever, I don't need that. Well, eventually I'll have to get rid of those blacks, but you know what I mean. I do want to get all this experience. Normally, I would just go straight for the boss, but because of where I am exactly with my experience gains, or lack thereof, I want to get up to 1,700 experience before I fight the boss. So that way, the boss will give me 300 experience, and then I will gain the level before getting the crystal there. So, yeah, I specifically planned this out, viewers. Let's see. Okay. Ha! Maybe. Hmm. Maybe if this guy gave me a red potion, that would be nice. Probably not. Oh, well. Unfortunately, I cannot use that jump trick in these tight quarters here. So... But at least I made it. The boss is still going to be pretty tough, but uh, well, I'll see what I can do. If I get him, I get him. If I die, well, sorry, viewers. All right, let's joust for boss time. So basically, this is a joust. You uh, let him come to you, hit the horse 
thing he's writing there and uh, knock him off. So that's the first thing we gotta do. Use down thrust on the horse there. Well, it's not really a horse, it's kind of a hoverboard. Something like that. But anyway, yeah, so just keep on doing this, and uh, this is not the entire boss fight, just so you know, viewers. This will, uh... Yeah, this is just phase one. This will not be this easy for the remainder of the fight. So, one more hit ought to do... Ha! Gotcha! Now, you want to be careful with this guy, because he can go into pissy boss mode at any time. Ooh, I got in a good hit there. Nice. Okay, now we want to be careful. We want to... Because the problem is that he really likes to keep his distance, so it makes it difficult for me to jump attack him. So just kind of back up here, and then just kind of slowly creep up on him. If you rush him too much, then, uh... Yes. Then he will uh, back up off-screen, and you won't be able to hit him. So just take your time. Take it easy. Wow, I'm doing pretty good so far. Just a few more hits. Okay, just careful. That's... Uh, this is gonna be close, folks. That's... Get it in some hits! No way. Oh, this is gonna come down to the wire. One more hit for both of us. Yeah! I got him! Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> no deaths! <laughs> Alright. Woo! <laughs> Dun -dun 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 -dun. <sighs> yeah, you see, that boss barely gave me enough experience. That way I could gain yet another level. Okay, let's ditch this joint. After uh, getting through the desert. So we got that uh, raft there, so let's put it to use. Unfortunately, it really only has one use. So, do they ever have rafts in future Zelda games? Like, I know that well, obviously there's Wind Waker, but that's not really a raft. I mean, literally a raft, not a boat or other means of conveyance over water. I mean, like, an actual raft. So, okay. So anyway, this is how you get out of there, if you want to do that. I suppose I could have just saved and continued from the palace there, but well, that's not how I roll. By the way, over here, one thing I neglected to mention, there's a red potion here. If you need that for some reason. I don't, but if you do, it's there. Let's, uh... Oh. Right. Let's just, uh, move on, then, to Eastern Hyrule. No! Ha ha. Okay, so, um, let's see, can I make it? Yes, I can. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, I would not bother trying to kill these guys, because while their eyes are closed, you cannot kill them. Really, I just came here for the 200 power bag. So, on. Okay, made it. Phew! To Eastern Hyrule in... Naburu! And let's take a look around, see if anyone has some more information about the other palaces and such. Okay, how's it going? What kind of boots? Jesus boots? Well, let's find out. Apparently, uh, yeah, you get boots in this game that let you walk on water. 
why we would need that when we have a raft, I don't know. But, okay, how's it going? You're thirsty. That's my quest for this town. To cure your thirst. You can't move two feet over here to get some water from the fountain. You are lazy. You better give me a really awesome spell for that. Huh. Oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. So, okay, here's your water. I, I didn't realize picking up women was so easy. All you have to do is just, uh... Get them a glass of water and boom! They let you right in their pants! I, I, I did not realize that. No. No. But anyway, we get... Woo! A fire spell! So basically, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, you use the spell and it lets you shoot fire. There's certain enemies that you can't kill with your sword no matter what you do. Uh, so what you do is you use the fire spell, and you can pierce their armor. So remember what uh, that one guy said, when all else fails, use fire? Well, that's what the guy meant by that. So, eh, I don't need my life restored. Doing pretty good so far. Let's see what else we got going on around here. Darunia, huh? Okay, well, well you could do that, but I'm not going to do yours. River Devil? Whoa! Okay, I'll watch out for that guy. Okay, how's it going? Maybe he's like that, uh, bot from before. That's... Ha! Oh, it is like the bot from before. The uh, heart over the ocean. Huh, well, that's a clue to, uh, where you can get a heart container around here. But where is the palace that has the boots that let me walk on water? Find out next time on Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!